Hey, welcome to the First Assist, an on-site sim lab proposal for Baylor University Medical Center. This presentation is being delivered by myself, April Snipes. I am a registered nurse, first assistant. I have a bachelor's degree of science in nursing, and I am a certified nurse in the OR. I am also the owner and CEO of the Surgeons Advantage, as well as the Surgery Studio. Let me begin with an executive summary. The Surgeons Advantage, providing safe and reliable surgical assistance. As a key member of the surgical team, the assistant surgeon plays a crucial role in supporting the primary surgeon. Our responsibilities are diverse and include pre-procedure support of the nursing team with room preparation, ensuring equipment is available based on individual surgeon preferences, assisting anesthesia, patient positioning and prepping, intraoperative care alongside the primary surgeon, wound closure, dressing application, assistance with patient transfer, and room turnover. Depending on licensure, first assistance can also be utilized for pre- and post-surgical rounding and management of physician orders. Using a well-trained assistant, familiar with the primary surgeon, leads to a safer and more efficient surgery. Increasing the number of surgeries that can be performed safely directly impacts overall revenue. The organization and management of our team includes myself, April Snipes, my partner, Mona Teruo, who is a biomedical engineer and the chief technology officer, and Ryan Northcutt, who is a billing specialist, scheduling um, for OR procedures, as well as a web developer. Proposed project. Problem statement. Baylor Scott & White's robotic surgery program and the importance of skilled surgical assistants. The successful execution of complex robotic surgery cases relies heavily on the expertise of a well-trained assistant surgeon. Unfortunately, surgical schedulers are finding it increasingly difficult to procure assistance at the same time that Baylor struggles to recruit qualified providers. Factors that impact first assistant availability vary greatly, but often include reimbursement, prior commitments to other surgeons, training, credentialing status, and hospital location. A number of well-trained first assistants have left the field completely, retired, relocated, or accepted jobs with hospitals or private groups, further diminishing the pool of available providers. The reason for this exodus is multifaceted, but there is a way to counter this trend. Texas hospital systems have struggled to find suitable candidates because they do not understand the culture, history, and nature of our profession. The first assist has been a highly coveted role veiled in secrecy for decades. If you want to attract top talent, you have to be able to address factors that are most important to individuals who have chosen this career path. The current hourly rates and incentive structures being offered do not attract and hold top talent. The bottom line, there's a limited number of robotic trained first assistants that exist in the DFW Metroplex. Proposed solution, the surgeon's advantage. Our plan is to provide an easy to use platform that will draw in well-trained providers, attract and train new talent, and create a resource pool of providers that makes scheduling easy. Similar to Angie's List, our platform will maintain an up-to-date database of first assistants who have agreed to provide their services to Baylor physicians across the DFW Metroplex. This platform gives the surgeon and the assistant the power to decide who they want to work with and when, which is important for physician satisfaction and patient safety. The way it works is simple. The surgeon's office scheduler visits assistantsurgeon.com, which will have a list of credentialed first assistants in the DFW Metroplex. They then check the provider schedule for availability and book the procedure online. The scheduler and assistant surgeon get immediate confirmation of the upcoming appointment and either party can communicate messages and make adjustments as needed. The assistant surgeon's profile will include their background, training, experience, and a list of hospitals where they are credentialed. If one provider is not available, schedulers can easily search the calendar of other assistants, eliminating the hassle of waiting for messages to be returned, having to ask other schedulers or the hospital for help, finding an available provider. Not only will this increase efficiency, but physician satisfaction through the pre-screening process, which ensures 
the provider who is scheduled to assist is properly trained for the procedure. Our pricing model is simple. Assistant surgeons are paid a flat rate per case of $500 for procedures that occur Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. If a surgical case exceeds six hours, it will be billed at an hourly rate of $150 per hour. A premium rate of $750 applies for cases that occur between 6.01 p.m. and 5.59 a.m. and weekends. Cases scheduled on hospital-recognized holidays between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. are billed at $900, and holiday cases that occur between 6.01 p.m. and 5.59 a.m. are billed at $1,500. If the surgical procedure is canceled between 4 and 24 hours prior to the scheduled start time, a flat rate of $200 applies. If the procedure is canceled less than four hours prior to the start, then a flat rate of $400 applies. To simplify billing, we will submit one itemized invoice to Baylor monthly for all procedures performed by the assistant surgeons in our resource pool. We will then pay each individual contractor the rates listed for services rendered. What makes our model different? All of our assistant surgeons are motivated independent contractors. They maintain their schedules, malpractice insurance, health insurance policies, retirement, taxes, billing, fees, and employees just as any other business owner. To provide and grow this service, our management fee to Baylor is 15% of bill charges. Below, I have an example of how it works. So week one, surgery schedule plus cost to facility. So week one, I have my schedule at Bumsey. I have two cases on Monday, two cases on Wednesday, and then one evening case on Friday. The total would be $3,105. I'm also scheduled to assist a physician at Baylor Plano during week one. I have two cases on Tuesday. The total, $1,150 to Baylor Plano. And then I have one case scheduled at Baylor Centennial, and that is $575. Now I give another example. So week two surgery schedule plus cost of facility. So during week two at Baylor, I have two cases scheduled on Monday, and then I have two cases scheduled on Wednesday, but the first case got canceled and it was a late cancellation. And then the second case progressed as scheduled. So the amount due for that week is $1,955. I have no cases scheduled at Baylor Plano. So the amount due is zero. And then I have one late cancellation at Baylor Centennial. So that total would be $230. To give one more example, I go on to week three. So the surgery schedule for week three includes two surgeries on Monday at Baylor Dallas, and then one surgery that's scheduled on Wednesday, but it is a seven and a half hour case. So the total for that week would be $2,443.75. On Tuesday, I'm scheduled to work at Baylor Plano and I only have one case, so that's $575. And then at Baylor Centennial, I'm actually called to come in and perform a holiday case. And so the total for that would be $1,035. Incentivizing efficiency is a recipe for success. Traditional staffing agencies bill hospitals a premium for services. The service fee can be up to 200% the hourly rate paid to the contractor. Our goal is not to act as a staffing agency. We simply want to provide a space where talent can be accessed. We have found that the most professional assistants are those who desire to maintain their independence. These individuals are driven because they realize the success of their business is solely based on reliability, skill, and great customer service. The hourly wage model is counterintuitive to a hospital system whose profits are based on case volume. For decades, first assistants have been paid a flat rate per case by the insurance companies and many physician groups. There is no incentive for employees to expedite case progression if their wages are based on cases taking longer. Incentivizing the operative team with a flat rate per case 
increases efficiency, which leads to greater surgical case volume. The bottom line, the greater our invoice is at the end of the month, the more money you have made on surgical procedures. Draw in more surgeons from competing hospitals to increase revenue. One way to guarantee an increase in surgical volume is to encourage physicians to schedule robotic procedures within the Baylor system. Competing hospitals and surgery centers in the DFW Metroplex offer a few different payment models for the assistant surgeon. One, we have the physician responsibility, we have patient responsibility, insurance responsibility, agencies paying for the assistant but getting their um, payments from the facility, and then assistants employed by the facility. The most successful of these models is currently the patient payment model as it has resulted in the highest reimbursements for the assist. This model, however, is problematic for all parties and leads to last minute cancellations, unscheduled procedures due to cost, surgeons having to move, move cases to different facilities, and assistants deciding to leave the profession due to the difficulty of getting payment. If Baylor took on the financial responsibility of providing independent assistant surgeons for cases performed within their facilities, surgeons would be far more likely to schedule those procedures at Baylor facilities versus competitors in the area who do not offer the same benefit. Bottom line, a robust pool of assistant surgeons will entice more attending surgeons to perform their robotic procedures at Baylor hospitals. Solving the talent acquisition dilemma. The reality still remains. There are a limited number of first assistants within the DFW Metroplex that possess the robotic skill set needed to address your staffing problem. Training new providers is necessary to staff all of the robots within the Baylor system. At this time, the only training available is what can be provided on the job. Not only does this ineffective model delay case progression, but it places hospitals and patients at risk increases costs and frustrates attending surgeons. How do you maintain surgical team satisfaction while building your resource pool? With an on-site, hands-on training center that allows interested providers the opportunity to practice on simulators as often as needed in their own time to become proficient. Two steps to revolutionize on-demand training. Prepare staff to anticipate. In order to recruit top talent, our team wants to introduce a groundbreaking addition that will help Baylor draw in the best and brightest, a state-of-the-art robotic training program. This training program will be a multi-part solution to the current gaps that exist for new and seasoned providers. The first part involves the introduction of Anticipate, a highly detailed physician preference card library available online and in book format. In partnership with Baylor's robotic team, our goal is to introduce a customized physician preference library. This resource will be instrumental in preparing first assistants, hospital staff, and students with the necessary information to facilitate surgical procedures while minimizing unnecessary use of resources and time. With the ability to review cases before they occur, team members can work to reduce delays, it's frustrating for both the surgeon and the operative team when there are frequent changes in staffing, which can lead to unfamiliarity with preferences, tools, and procedure steps. The provision of a robust instruction guide authored by the surgeon will instill confidence in the staff's ability to perform their duties. Revolutionizing robotic training through a partnership with the surgery studio. Our second step to achieve a comprehensive training solution includes an on-site body bar with resident artists and biomedical engineers from the surgery studio in collaboration with Baylor. This innovative addition will allow the entire robotic team to practice their roles in a low stress environment using highly realistic models. The benefits of this type of training are numerous, including better positioning and prep skills for nurses, practice and instrumentation, emergency drills, room setup, and robotic troubleshooting for techs, medical students, residents, and first assists. Additionally, attending surgeons, residents, medical students, and first assistants will have the opportunity to practice 
surgical procedures with visual and tactile feedback. Ultimately, practicing in a low-stress environment increases efficiency and reduces operative time. With this partnership, Thumpsy is set to become a globally recognized leader in simulation-based robotic training programs. Our handmade multi-use surgical models are versatile and can be used for training purposes on and off the robot. This approach accelerates the learning process of trainees and helps them achieve proficiency in a reduced amount of time. Team members have the option to practice independently or in groups 24 hours a day, seven days a week, based on their individual learning needs. By improving the proficiency of our residents and attending surgeons on the robot, we can reduce operative time and increase surgical capacity, resulting in improved surgical training and revenue generation. How Baylor can fund this initiative and redefine community partnerships through direct engagement. Over the years, communities have grown wary of the healthcare system, leading to a loss of trust in our ability to provide safe, effective, and value-added care for their loved ones. To combat this marketing dilemma, we must engage directly with our community members, including patients, churches, neighbors, universities, independent school districts, and more. While many healthcare providers are focused on adopting the latest technology, consumers are requesting more face-to-face -face interactions, education, and compassion. We need to create safe learning spaces where providers and the community can come together and learn from each other. To this end, we propose a simulation center that not only trains students, but also educates the community on how to care for themselves and their loved ones using the same hyper-realistic training models. This is a crucial step in delivering quality care through education. Families want to know how to care for their loved ones and our center can provide valuable resources to support them. Potential sources of funding can come through philanthropic efforts, health insurance benefits, paid classes, events, lectures, sim lab rental, and CME slash CEU offerings. Baylor staff to teach community classes, connecting with patients and enhancing clinical knowledge. Introducing the many exciting opportunities that exist within the hospital system's ecosystem is crucial for engagement and recruitment of the community. We can inspire the next generation of healthcare leaders and innovators through summer camps, after-school programs, competitions, games, and family gathering spaces. In addition, to foster a stronger connection between patients and staff, Baylor employees and providers will have the opportunity to teach community classes. This provides clinicians a chance to extend their clinical knowledge and skills while also inspiring others. As an added benefit, providers can receive compensation for teaching classes, presenting up-to-date research findings, and offering CEU and CME credits. These efforts will increase revenue streams and strengthen the bottom line. Let's make Baylor the go-to destination for collaborations between the community and healthcare professionals. Milestones for resource pool. Below is a list of estimated milestones for the project proposal along with anticipated deliverables. A third-party project manager will be hired to give a more accurate estimate upon approval and receipt of deposit. First milestone, expandassistantsurgeon.com with staff resource pool of currently available robotic trained first assistants. Timeline estimate one to three months. Deliverables, online scheduling website with currently credentialed first assist within the Baylor Scott and White system. Milestone two, build out anticipate resource library for robotic surgeons. Timeline estimate three to 12 months. Deliverables, online and book library of customized robotic surgeon preference cards book library accessible to providers during computer downtime, video, audio, visual, written tutorials with step-by-step -step guides accessible to the robotic team and first assistants. The third milestone would be increasing existing first assistant resource pool through recruitment and training of additional talent. The timeline estimate, uh, six to 12 months, and the deliverables, begin enrolling into a first assistant fellowship program to train new providers to assist on the robot, begin the credentialing process for additional first assistants not currently on staff, 
begin a Robotics 101 training program to onboard new team members, and then add new team members to the system-wide resource pool. Budget Proposal for Resource Pool Our budget statement below gives an overview of our expected fees for this project. Project Phase 1 AssistantSurgeon.com Setup Fee Web Expansion and First Assistant Talent Recruitment The Value $40,000 Percentage of Total 21% Project Phase 2 Anticipate Resource Library for Robotic Surgeons at Bumsey the value of $150,000, percentage of total 79%. And then ongoing first assist staffing costs is to be determined based on staffing needs. So the total for this project phase budget proposal is $190,000 plus. Milestones for on-site simulation lab trainers. Below, is a list of estimated milestones for the project proposal along with anticipated deliverables. A third-party project manager will be hired to give a more accurate estimate upon approval and receipt of deposit. First milestone, decide on space location and layout for the body bar. Timeline estimate one to three months. Deliverables, lab and training space open for use. Milestone two, begin on-site training using customized task trainers with residents, medical and nursing students, and staff. Timeline estimate to begin in two to three months, and deliverables would be multi-organ task trainers. Milestone three, first full body simulator on site for a robotic simulation lab. The timeline estimate is six to eight months, and deliverables a hyper-realistic surgical robotic simulation model for ongoing training and education with the entire team and reusable replaceable organs provided by the body bar. The fourth milestone, recruit instructors, plan curriculum for community classes. Timeline estimate, eight to 18 months. Deliverables, calendar of rotating classes to be offered on site. Milestone number five, begin hosting community education classes. The timeline estimate is around 12 to 24 months. And the deliverables include begin enrolling students into community simulation-based training classes, offer periop 101 classes for upcoming surgical patients and their support team, host summer camps and after-school programs. The budget for on-site simulation lab trainers. Our budget statement below gives an overview of our expected annual fees for one year. These project estimates will change based on additional information received. So project phase one, the body bar. First year estimated annual cost per resident includes all simulators needed to practice nationally recognized surgical program objectives. Unlimited repairs, customizations, and replacements will be done on site. The value will be $3,000 per resident. The second is custom full body surgical simulator with articulating joints value of $80,000. And finally, simulators for use by all other Baylor staff, students, and in community classes. I'm estimating between forty dollars and $80,000 for the year. Conclusion. The benefit of working with the Surgeon's Advantage and the Surgery Studio. We already understand and have the professional connections needed to quickly attract top talent. Our platform has been in operation for seven years and has been tested and proven to be user-friendly and effective for physicians and office schedulers. Using our services can help you attract top talent from your competitors, giving you the opportunity to increase robotic usage, retain physicians, and provide an additional incentive to attract new talent. Consider the total cost of recruiting first assistants to work on staff. Include the cost of recruitment, retention, and attrition. I know firsthand that many first assistants working on staff across the Metroplex are actively looking for other job opportunities. While building this cost model, it is important to factor in the cost of lost revenue from last minute cancellations due to patient non-payment or procedures that are moved to other hospitals where there is help available. Although Bumsey has the ability to utilize residents as first assistants, keep in mind, they are less efficient 
and result in diminished training opportunities that affect future recruiting to your residency program. Revolutionize your robotics program and attract top talent. Partnering with the Surgeon Advantage and the Surgery Studio can take your robotics program to the next level. Not only will your patients view Baylor as a center of excellence with our community partnerships and educational courses, but you'll also gain access to the next generation of healthcare leaders. By training them from an early age, you can establish your program as a premier destination for top talent across the globe. Contact information, www.assistantsurgeon.com, www.thesurgerystudio.com. You can email me at april.snipes at thesurgeonsadvantage.com. And you can call me or text me anytime. My number is 469-207-6425. It is my hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. It has met your needs. I know that there will be many questions that you still have, and I would love to answer. So if you can email me or give me a call, I am happy to answer any questions that come up after listening to this presentation. I look forward to hearing from you and hopefully we can set up another meeting in the near future.